have helped so many people and put people on game. And mm -hmm. I just feel that like, like they took it for granted and ran with it. Oh, or yeah. if you don't really have, if you don't do the work yourself, like, although I'm going to help and guide you, but you still have to do the work. That's how you learn by failure and oh. doing it yourself. And so I want to create a template to help these people grow on social media. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to continue doing the, the event organization, the candy drip competition. So that's coming around. So there's a lot of things coming with just the Trap wow. Sauce brand, with the damn Mexicans. Um, wow. So it's exciting. Sounds like you got your hands full. <laughs> I do. And I'm a mom. To two little, little girls and I'm a wife and at the end of the day I still got to remember damn bitch did you drink water did you text that person yeah. back like did you even call your friends or family like I'm doing all these things I'm not just sitting on my ass like I'm I'm really working and I'm trying to build and, and build a foundation for not just mm -hmm. myself but for my girls and their children and and just teach them things that I wasn't taught you know so Oh, yeah, I gotta stay busy. You know, I like the way that you said, uh, can I just get some water or can did somebody just offer you some water? <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I am sometimes. I forget to even drink some water. Shit. Yeah. Sometimes I run all day and I'm just like, man, I didn't even have one drink of water today. Damn. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah. So um, as far as uh, social media and uh, creating content, I know you mentioned YouTube and and you know social media and all that ha have you been monetized on youtube yet yeah okay. oh, what about tiktok or instagram tiktok mm, kind of okay so tiktok is different so you have to unlock the first thousand followers so that you can have the live access and then from there your followers can send you gifts which turn into coin money all right but i think it's after you reach 10k i could be wrong 10k or 100k where you can start getting paid per view. And I'm almost there. So follow me on TikTok, y'all. Chop sauce. No, I think no. I'm at like eight or nine K. So um, yeah, some, 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 people don't, uh, some people don't know how important that is for us because we stay so busy even on like what we're doing right now. And, uh, you know, the, the stars are important on Facebook, the coins, like you say on TikTok, you know, all of that. Whenever you can support someone that's doing this for a living, you know, it's always awesome. And we always appreciate that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, I just recently got monetized on YouTube. That's dope. Uh, but, yeah. But I feel, you know, it's like a whole other world. I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on it. Like, you know, we have a lot of music artists out here that they think, uh, you know, let me drop my audio, let me drop my um, uh, music video, and then leave it at that. You know, do two or three of those a year. Uh, but they don't know that if they could just come on here on a daily basis and, and create content, you know what I mean? And, uh, that can be a big source of income. It's crazy. And food, like you got the food and your stuff be looking good. I ain't gonna lie. You know, so like your whole, the, the, the way you put the food and all that, it looks awesome. And uh, when, when, you, when you have something like that on video, uh, right now I, I was watching uh, some kind of candy uh, competitions on Netflix. Have you seen that? Oh, yeah. That's some um, crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it's the taste of Mexico or something like that. Yeah, like like just just imagine creating a show like that. You know, like like you were saying, bringing those entrepreneurs together that do chamoy or have the contest. You know, and have it uh have it filmed where everybody's doing their. You know, everybody has their own tables, and they you know you give them a, a certain amount of candy or whatever, or different kinds of candy, and they just make their own creations. Mm -hmm. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, you know, sure. we don't have nobody in Houston to do that. You and know what I mean? So. I'll capitalize on it. You know? yeah. <laughs> I just have resources and a great team. And I like, I mean, once you get me started on something, I'm very, I'm headstrong. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do it. Um, I do a lot of things alone. And so if I, I'm building a team. So the more that I'm able to build a very strong, reliable team, Man, it, I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable just by myself. I can imagine right, right, sure, sure. like-minded individuals. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. You gotta have like-minded individuals, but you also that they also gotta have thick skin for the business. Yeah. And and they have to be understanding. You know, a lot of people ain't understanding that they gotta understand certain situations that 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 come from being in the business. Yeah. Um. 
much. Man, I can only imagine how much you probably lost along the way as well, you know? Yeah, there's uh, been many losses, but with the losses came lessons. So, right. right. Um, and I take that, I've, I've, I, I try to see a different perspective to right. to life and all the obstacles that I've had is just, it's a lesson. Mm -hmm. There's no, mm -hmm. there's no failures. It's all lessons or blessings. And so mm -hmm. because of a situation that didn't turn out the way I expected it to be, I learned mm -hmm. from it and I grew and I was able to pivot and adapt. And, mm -hmm. and I think if more people gave themselves some grace and, are able to have that mindset like, okay, things aren't going my way. Let me just figure out another way. Let me not do it that way. Let me try get back up. I mean, the most exciting part for me, like if, if something didn't like, for example, I recently just got let go um, from a food park. I, I've been traveling all over Houston doing gigs, festivals. I've done some of your events, mm -hmm. um, been at bars and I just got tired of moving around. I wanted, I, I did the traveling so that people can get to know me. Now I want a place where people can just find me. So I found a, a, a home for us. I signed a three month contract. It was very risky because the the fees alone were so high, <laughs> so mm. high. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna be in the Galleria area, which is, you know, a really nice side of Houston. Mm. And it's there's a lot of people there. And not even, I mean, just halfway through my contract the the owner just like I can't I can't do this anymore this is just it's too much and he told us all we all had to leave so all of the winter commitments that I had just canceled to make that place my right. my full commitment now I'm just like I lost everything so now I'm back to square one and so instead of being upset and sad I, the exciting part is how am I going to get back up yeah, you gotta take you gotta take the beating. You gotta take the beating and, and, and get through it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, it's been I think a week and I found myself a new home. So Trap Sauce is, is at Speedy's Fast Track. It's in the northwest side of, of Houston. That's where a majority of my customer base is in the neighborhood where I grew up. I've been working there for over a decade. So it just mm -hmm. made sense to go back. No, so so you're actually in a gas station. That's dope. No, 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 no. It's a it's a go kart track. Oh, it's a go-kart Speed, track. Not Speedy's the gas station, but Speedy's mm -hmm. uh, Fast Track. Uh, no. Back in the day, it was called Speedy's. Now it's called Fast Track Amusements. But where, where is that located at? It's on Hempstead and Antoine. So it's oh, parallel. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about right there on yeah. that little corner right there. Yeah. Uh -huh. So yep. it's next to Neon Boots, if you remember with Neon Boots. Or I forgot what it was called back in the day. Um they had Willie. No, no, I, I remember because because that that Speedies has been there for a very long time. On oh, yeah, 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 and they have they have go karts, all, like four different speeds of go karts: laser tag, mini golf, 150 plus arcade games. Like it's huge. There, it's pretty dope.